everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. If you're new to my channel, my name is Janice. If you're returning, thank you so much for returning. I do appreciate it. Um, today's gonna be my last Christmas video of the year. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. This way you're notified every time I upload a new and fun video. So let's get started. Okay, this first DIY, this was suggested by one of my crafting friends, uh, Robin, at uh, Crafts Unleashed. I'm making you the snowman that you suggested. So first thing you're gonna need is a white pair of socks. I got these from Dollar Tree. These are the men's size, um, depending on how big of a snowman you wanna make. So the first thing you're gonna do is cut like where the heel is, and that's gonna be the part of the body. Now I already made three snowman in the back, so I'm just gonna make the one to show you how to make it. So to fill the sock up, you're gonna need something heavy like rice. I use rice, up. other people use rocks or for a variety of different things, but I'm just gonna use the, the rice. It's a dollar at the Dollar Tree and so it's easier. So I'm gonna use this glass, I'm gonna place the sock in there. However, it kind of slipped and didn't really hold very well, but I was, I was able to get enough rice in there. Now you can fill this up totally, depends on how fat you want your snowman. Um, I want mine kind of chunky, but not real fat. So I need a little bit more rice, so I'm just gonna pour a little bit more because it's too skinny. So now I'm gonna take some jute twine and I'm going to uh, create a little a knot at the top. Some people use rubber bands. I don't use rubber bands because they're inconsistent. They uh, they always break. So I'm just tying it off with the jute twine. So I'm taking another piece of jute twine and I'm going to go in the middle because one part is going to be the snowman's head and the lower part is going to be his body. So I'm going to tie a knot right in the middle. Now you can get these socks at Dollar Tree. Um, I picked up a bunch for a dollar. So I'm gonna use this coral color. I think it's very pretty. And I'm just gonna use the one sock. So I'm gonna take a piece of the sock. Uh, the first piece is gonna be for the snowman's neck because we need to hide where we put the jute twine. So that's the piece I'm cutting out right now. And then the second piece I'm gonna be cutting out is gonna be the snowman's scarf. So now I'm taking the bottom part of the sock and I'm cutting a small part of it. That's gonna be the snowman's hat. All depends on how high you want the hat. Um, I think about three inches is sufficient. So you definitely wanna cut this part off because that's gonna interfere with the hat. So now I'm gonna create a pom-pom for my hat. This is optional. I'm just gonna roll um, this Dollar Tree yarn around my hand quite a few times until I get the amount that I want. twine I'm going to create a knot right in the middle. Mm -hmm. 
So now I'm going to cut right in the middle with my scissors on both ends and this is going to create the little pom-pom. Make sure you have very sharp scissors because you can see how the struggle is with Dollar Tree scissors. <laughs> I need to get better scissors. All right, so here's the pom-pom. It's, um, it's gotta be trimmed, depending on how high or how big of a pom-pom you want. So I'm just gonna trim around the pom-pom. Also, this is thicker type of yarn, so if you want a thinner type of yarn, it'll make a smaller, thinner pom-pom. Now I'm taking the part that we cut for the snowman's neck, I'm going to place it down around his neck. So I need to cut the scarf for the snowman, so I'm cutting it and then I'm going to place it in between the neck area. Now if you like to um, place the scarf directly in front of the snowman, that's fine. You could put it on the side. Alright, so now I'm placing the hat on top, I'm getting an idea where I should place it because I have to put the little eyes and nose yet. Um, cutting off a little part of that top because it's still a little bit too high. So now I'm going to place a little bit of glue on the front of the sew man's hat, on the sides, and then the back as well. So now I'm just taking some glue and I'm going to place the little pom-pom on top. I made him a very big pom-pom. <laughs> but it looks cute. So I'm going to be using the Dollar Tree buttons and I found two little buttons that will match and I'm going to place two down in front. Now for the, for the nose, I found this at Dollar Tree, it's um, earplugs, but they're orange and I was just cutting a little piece up for the nose. Some people use um, pipe cleaner, the orange pipe cleaners, but I didn't have any, so this works fine. So I'm just going to cut a little piece and glue it on. Okay, using Dollar Tree buttons as well. These are the black ones, and I'm looking for two little black ones for the eyes. So I'm just hot gluing down the eyes with a hot glue gun. Now I'm taking the nose that I made and I'm going to hot glue that as well. So I'm going to cut the scarf because it's a little bit too long and then I'm going to place a little bit of glue just so it stays in place. Now 
Now you can decorate your snowman any way you like. I'm taking these Dollar Tree little snowflakes and I'm just going to place one on his hat. So I got this makeup from Dollar Tree. It's pink and I'm just going to take a little q-tip and apply a little bit on his cheeks and this came out so cute i love this little snowman and look how cute it came out it's so stinking cute All right, so I'm going to be using this Dollar Tree sign. I already went ahead and um, created a word on my Cricut. Now I'm just going to paint the outside rim of it black. All right, now that it's dry, I'm going to take the bottom part of it and I'm going to place the wording that I created on my Cricut and place it on top. Now I'm going to be hot gluing it back in place because I had to remove it to paint it and just applying some glue. So I'm taking this Dollar Tree um, little cutout mittens. I'm going to paint it black, or black, <laughs> red, and then the outside of it black. And um, I think it goes cute with the sign. So they already have sticky stuff in the back, so I'm going to place one at the top and then one at the bottom. This came out so cute. And here's the end results. So here's the supplies that I use for this DIY. This one came out so adorable and cute. So the first thing I'm going to do, blah, 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 I can't talk today. I'm going to paint the little sleds. One's going to be red. The other one's going to be green and territorial beige. And the other one's red with um, Christmas tree green. I don't want to bore you too much with the painting, so I'm fast forwarding it and speeding it up a little bit. All right, so they're now finished and they're dry. I'm gonna take the canvas that I got from Five Below and I couldn't find my staple remover, so I'm gonna take my knife and just slice on the sides and peel it back. I'm using Engine Red to paint the frame. I'm going to be using Territorial Beige to paint the canvas part. I'm just going to paint the outside edges because the gift bag will fit right in the middle. Now I'm taking the antique white and I'm just going to blend it in. So I'm going to be hot gluing the canvas to the frame. I'm placing the gift bag right in the middle of the frame and I'm going to hot glue that down as well. Now I'm going to take the two sleds that I painted and I'm going to hot glue them to the bottom of the frame. This really came out awesome. I really love this piece.
And here's the finished product. This came out so cute. I love it. Let's go outside. The snow is falling down and every child is having so much fun. All right, here's another cute DIY. I took this Dollar Tree plate and the wrapping paper from Dollar Tree. I already cut out the circle. Um, this plate is so pretty, it actually, as is. Um, so I'm gonna take this wrapping paper and I'm gonna take some Mod Podge and place it down. This comes out so pretty. So I'm just placing a little Mod Podge in the back. So I'm going to add a little bit more Mod Podge on the ends and go over the top just to make sure it stays put. Now I'm going to be using these little pine cones that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to hot glue them all around the circle and this also is going to cover um, the gift paper so you don't see the ends as well. This is such a pretty piece. You can keep this up all winter, um, not necessarily for Christmas, but um, it could be a winter decor. And look how pretty it came out. It's so pretty. What a nice winter piece. Okay, for this one, I'm going to take this antique beige paint and I'm going to take these Dollar Tree uh, bulbs, ornaments, and I'm going to place some paint inside both of them and then flip them upside down on the little cups. So I'm going to try to get the paint to start to move around inside there and then I'm going to place them upside down and leave them there overnight. All right, so we're gonna start putting everything together. So I'm grabbing all my supplies. I took the Dollar Tree white gloves that I cut and I'm gonna use that for the snowman's hat. And so I took the Dollar Tree ribbon um, that I thought I was gonna use. Uh, I do change it at the end. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the glove and I'm gonna place it over the top. And I use jute twine to hang the ornament. So now I'm getting an idea where I should um, place the eyes and nose. So I am going to draw the eyes and a little slit for their eyebrows. And guys, I am not the best drawer at all. I can't draw for nothing. So this was a struggle. So that's why I was using one of these markers that you can erase your mistakes. So I'm drawing the big carrot nose and I'm struggling with that. <laughs> but I finally get it though. And um, it really is so, so cute. Start removing his hat because I need to uh, start painting his face. So I'm going to use um, the chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree and I'm going to fill in his eyes and eyebrows. So as I was painting this, I was looking at it and the nose that I made started making me laugh because you know the Flintstones? It reminded me of Barney Rubble's nose. <laughs> Bye. 
So I'm gonna be painting his nose with the orange paint. This is so cute, look at his face. Super, super cute. And here I just grabbed a toothpick to do the little whites in the center of his eye. Now everything's dry, I'm going to put his hat back on. So once you have it into place, I'm going to hot glue the front and the sides and the back. To decorate his head, I'm going to take these two pieces of the greenery that I got from Dollar Tree, as well as these two pine cones that I got from Dollar Tree. This is coming out so cute. I'm just placing down some glue and just uh, putting down the pine cones. Now I'm pulling the string out from the top so this way I can hang it on my tree. And this is absolutely so stinking cute. Look how adorable this came out, guys. I also made a second one, a little tiny one. So I want to add a scarf to the bottom of the snowman. So I grab this Dollar Tree ribbon um, and I just hot glue it from the side of his hat to the other side of the hat. And then I fold it over with a little hot glue and then I cut it and it looks like a little scarf. I do change it at the end. I didn't really care for the maroon checkered. So I was looking something more like a flannel kind of color. I didn't have really much, but I do change it at the end and it really does look cute. And this is how they both turned out. So stinking cute. The snow is falling down. I've been longing for this Christmas. When everyone's around to share this holiday. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video and supporting my channel. I do appreciate it. And I wish everybody a very safe and happy holiday, and I'll see you all next year. Bye-bye, everyone.